Okay, tubes. Another Briggs and Stratton, but this one is the Pulsa Prime uh, carburetor, which has the low, the tank lower than the carburetor, which sucks it up. I believe I would call that atmospheric fuel injection. So this one is just, it's just a non-starter as well. They all are, right? So, oh, I was going to show you when we prime, we're getting lots of fuel. Can you see that? You smell that? Okay, so we're getting fuel. So even if it's bad fuel, it should fire. So we'll just pull a pull a cable. So obviously there's nothing there. And uh, now we're gonna check to see if we have a spark. Just like all the others. First we put the spark indicator in series with the plug. And if there's enough juice, it should light up this neon light here. There you go, right there. And there's no light there. But, so that could be a bad plug. But I did check the plug and it looks, it looks okay. So what we're going to do now is, I'll show you what's going on here. We're going to take this and just ground it to the frame. And this is exactly where my friend Zippo Vargas says you have to watch these inductive type uh, spark indicators because they can lie to you. So if I ground it out, so if you just went straight to ground with this instead of going through the spark plug, there's enough energy there. All right, I'm just gonna bring this over to the side so I can see too when I'm pulling it. There we go. So when it's straight grounded, it's an easier path. It doesn't have to jump to 30 thousandths in the plug. So there's a spark there, but it won't go through the spark plug. And I try the second, I tried a second good old plug on that uh, when we had it hooked up the other way, when this was hooked up to the spark plug. I hope I'm making some sense here. So when we had it hooked up like that, there was no spark. And I checked it on this one as well, and I know this is a good plug. So we're going to change the coil on this guy. So this has been an interesting year. The economy where I live in here in Alberta, Canada has really gone downhill. And uh, two years ago, I could, um, I had used machines coming out of my, coming out of the woodwork, right? And now people are fixing their old stuff. So let me just come back. I'll get the garage door closed so you can see and uh, we'll carry on. Okay guys, we're gonna take the, Take the top off this. I'm going to move a little bit closer so you can see and I can work. Quarter inch bolts here and here. So this mower was made in 1998, same year as my truck. now. When I say a bad coil, that's exactly what it is. Um, the engine turns around and around. The magnets in the, the flywheel go by the coil. And if this one's an electronic one, it induces a spark, right? 
sends the spark to the spark plug and it jumps the gap and makes the fire inside the motor. And this one has a weak spark, I think. So now we're going to take this coil off. Quarter inch bolt, quarter inch bolt with, this is the governor thing. Eh? How sweet is that? It blows a wind and when it needs more, uh, when it needs more fuel, this, it slows down, it goes closer and gives it more gas and then it goes back and forth through with a thick and thin grass and the wind makes the throttle go back and forth. How simple is that? These are one of my favorite style of lawnmowers. Now this one had a bad, has a bad coil we think. right off and then there'll be a wire connecting it to the on off switch over here. But I might just leave the wire in place for the new coil. There. So I just unplugged the wire. Can you see that? Plugs into that tab there. And we'll just leave that wire intact. So now I gotta go find one of these. Cross your fingers. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I, uh, it took me a while to pick this up. I think this was a replacement coil and because they had no spark and they put the wrong one in. These are the electronic ones which are designed for modern lawnmowers without points and this one is just a coil. It's got no sensor on there. Do you see that? I missed that. You know you do so many of the modern ones you just forget. So I think that's kind of interesting. Okay, this is exciting. I think we have the, we got her fixed. Business card. Okay, we got bent springs on the governor too, but okay, so you guys we'll put this all together so that we know. Tighten these up. We have the we still have to connect this up to the turnoff switch. But now we should have a spark. Guys, I'm just putting it back together again. I had to plug the camera in, so we got a different angle. Well, this little girl just might start now. But I am going to have a look at the gas to see how bad it is. It's okay. These uh, 
Pulsa Prime mowers are not that fussy. So I'm going to try and start it up. We're going to do the uh, field pull. try and start this up one more time. I put clean gas in and uh, we can squirt it a few times and see if it starts. Alright, while it's running, I really think it needs a diaphragm kit on the carburetor, so we'll do that tomorrow. I'm done for the day. Thanks tubes. That was fun. It's fun to get them running. Alright guys, it should go. I just got it cleaned up real nice. Oh. I don't have any gas in it yet. All right, this is the carburetor, and two things were happen happening. The uh, this, this is the governor, the wind, the wind vane governor I showed you right here, underneath. It was sticky, pl plus it was running on such low throttle it would hardly catch. So now I've just, because I don't have a throttle cable and this is going to be my back alley lawnmower, uh, I just bent the, this tab over so it would stay down at 90% throttle. So let's crank her up, see how she goes. And I don't like fiddling on them while they're running, so it's a bit of a back and forth thing, right? I think that's that's done, tubes. Thanks for watching.